Good morning, everyone. I'm about to make clam chowder because the last couple of times I made it, it's nothing in the pot right now. Last couple of times I made it was in my pajamas. My cousin Sabrina feels like I need to be out of my pajamas. So, that's about what I'm going to do. But this time, I'm going to cook the shrimp separate from the clam chowder. Because I have a good friend of mine and my boss that can't eat shrimp. So I'm doing it separate. So I'm about to do the shrimp in my separate frying pan, which is over here. And you can see it's separate. Now I'm going to add my seasoning to my shrimp. This is one of them. And the ones I use all the time. The every garlic and roasted seasoning. And a lid I just dropped on the floor. Damn it. And a little bit of obey. Turn it on. And mix it. So we can start cooking my shrimp. Okay, we got the shrimp done up. Okay, we're about to do the stuff for our clam chowder. Bacon is going in. Clams by itself, nothing else in it. We got to pour out the water out of our potatoes. Put our potatoes in now. Now throw them all over the place. We threw three of them on the floor, so we're gonna throw them out. I can get them off the floor. Whew. Okay, we're about to put our seasonings in this part before we put our clam juice in and our coffee, our whipped, whipped cream. Ever, it's called Everglades seasonings. Roasted garlic seasoning. This one right here.
obey seasoning because it gives a lot of flavor to the seafood. Now I'm going to mix this stuff in. Give it all the good flavors. Okay. Lower the shrimp. Then we got our clam juice. It gotta go in. See the clams juice? That's going in next. Next is my whipped cream. My heavy whipping cream is going to go in to my pot. We always add extra obey. And a little bit of more garlic and herbs. And that's it. Then you want to mix it again. Make sure to get everything mixed in. Okay, we got everything mixed in. We're going to turn it down to six and let it cook from there. Everybody have a wonderful day.